Hi guys. So I have a few things to talk about. Um, first of all, I was riding my bike and God kind of showed me something about the Word of God. And that there are many, um, you know, we live in the shadow world right now, you know, under the sun. <clears throat> and uh, we are not from here. This is, we are ambassadors of God to bring the truth to those sitting in darkness. Now we were sitting in darkness ourselves. We're still we're still still here, but we have been saved by grace, by Jesus, his righteousness, not our own. And um, he was showing me today as I was riding my bike um, about the word of God. Now we have a, a Bible in every hotel here in the United States, but we still have corruption. We still have false teachers. We still have false shepherds. We still have sin and and um we still have the flesh which is fallen we are a new creation in christ but our flesh is dead in christ those of us who are are in christ um those who are still sinners you know we shouldn't be calling ourselves sinners my pastor art said that last week and he is to totally true telling the truth um that we are no longer sinners saved by grace um our spirit is saved and made white as snow in Jesus. Um, but we should not be calling ourselves sinners. We should be calling ourselves ch children of God. Um, we did come to him as we were when we were sinners. And now we are the light of the world, the city on the hill, the salt that can sometimes, you know, feel a little bit painful whenever we correct somebody or each other or ourselves or our fathers correcting us which is good because he loves those who he corrects and jesus even rebuked you know peter so all flesh is fallen short of the glory of god jesus said only god is good so we shouldn't beat ourselves up for each other we should you know love each other and correct each other and let the spirit work do the work because all of the work that we do from our flesh or on our own is going to burn in fervent heat. All the elements, which the false god was uh, El, and Jesus is the true God, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, is the true God. And when you believe in him, and it's his righteousness, nothing that you can do, is the works that you do are fallen. The works the Spirit does through you will be saved, and you will be have a reward because it's the works of the Spirit that has reward in heaven not our flesh um, this is something that that people really need to know that the bibles that we have in the in the in the earth right now there's many that are that are false doctrines of demons and and even christians can be reading the bible up oh, here's my dog um, can be reading the bible with their flesh and with their intellect and thinking they know the truth but really not um, the true spirit is in them. They sure have the words correct, though, but Satan did too. He was very deceptive whenever he was talking to Adam and Eve. He knew God, and he fell from that grace. So we have to be careful because deceiving spirits are in the world, and it's even getting worse. I had a dream, um, I think I told you guys about, about the snakes coming up all over the earth. And that they were just coming up out of the dirt everywhere and people were jumping over them. Some were, and then I was like noticing the big one was coming up in the middle of the earth. And, you know, we were trying to jump over everything and I'm saying, get up this. And then all of a sudden the stairway formed in front of me and it was a white stairway. And I said, come up here. And um, that's Jacob's ladder, I guess. And uh, so... Jesus is the door. Jesus is the way. You know, I believe Jesus was the stairs that, you know, I saw in my dream. But uh, before the big one comes fully out, um, I'm hoping that's what happens <laughs> because I don't want to be here. But I do feel like I should be here to help people, you know, to help them not take the mark of the beast or to help them to persevere through persecution or through uh, martyrdom for the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, to love our enemy um, which is very difficult, but um, back to the scriptures, uh, we have a false way coming right now in the world 
uh, they're calling it the in-gathering or the togetherness or the, uh, what is it called, the reset. Hallie, don't do that right now. I <laughs> love you. See how cute she is. Um, and this is a false teaching. Um, it's a false shepherd. Now, King Solomon started out good, but then he married the Egyptian wives and had pagan um, gods and taught and performed magic. You know, he was doing magic, and that's against God because no one doing sorcery will enter into the kingdom of heaven. Um, and it says that in Revelation. So uh, be careful what you're listening to and what you're hearing because together means to get her. So this movement, this Jesus culture movement, is a false light. Now remember the shallow seed in the parable of the seed, the sowing of the seed. Uh, it gets burnt up because it's shallow. Now everyone's seeking a sign, seeking a feeling, seeking all of this, this uh, stuff that is gathering them together and to get her. And what that means to get her, who is the her that they're trying to get? Well, the her is the true bride of Christ, the true church. Also, to get her could be meaning their uh, female goddess, which Allah is a female goddess, a uh, moon goddess. And uh, the, Je the Jesuits, uh, all of them worship Miriam, which Mary said, and I quote her, she said, um, I am joyful for... My, uh, uh, hold on, I, I just went blank. Ah, Father, help me with this. I, I am joyful for my God, my Savior. She's talking about Jesus. She needed a Savior. So she's not going to save people. She also said, Miriam or Mary also said, to listen to Jesus and do what he says. She didn't say ever once did she say, listen to me. So there's a false unity, a false peace that's being done right now in the name of Jesus. And remember the prote Protestants were protesting Rome? Well, Rome just signed up the Protestants back into their, uh, their uh, I call it, harlotry with all their idol worship, all their false gods, all their false ways their Tammuz worship, their sun god worship, the Eucharist, which is sun god worship. You could see it's a big old sun. IHS is Isis, Horus, and Set. It's in the middle of the sun. These are pagan Egyptian gods. They're following King Solomon, not the true Jesus. So beware of false doctrines and traditions of men.